Hello, this is Blaylock1988, and I wanted to show a neat neat little trick I found with MechJeb, a Kerbal Space Program 2.0.2.0.2. Uh, this works if you have MechJeb on both ships that you're trying to dock together. Uh, MechJeb will stay active on all of your ships, so you don't have to have your, you don't have to be controlling your ship for it to keep working. And so this uses the smart ASS target to aim the ships at each other. And so you don't have to do all sorts of translating up and down, left and right, and lining it up. This is really good for people that have a hard time getting docking down. This makes it much simpler and a lot quicker too. If you're trying to do a lot of a lot of monotonous moving around. So this is my I just sent up a uh, orbital constructor, a 1.25 meter little Kerbal attachment system, some winches I want to add to my space station. And I'm going to move the solar panels around. I don't really like where he's at right now. So this is my upper stage. just need to get rid of this. So I think it's running low on battery. Yep. See, electric charge is going down pretty quick. So let's see. Turn ASS. Alright, let's ASS off. And retrograde. Just get this on its way. Make sure I don't hit the station. There we go. And there we go. It's in a suborbital. So now, I'm going to test the Kerbal attachment system winches right here. Let's control from here. Select the winch, target, target positive. Now, while that is going to aim at my winch, I'm going to aim my winch at it. Right there. Target, positive. So now, both ships are going to actively keep pointing at each other. This is, this is really nice if you uh, if you don't get it quite straight. If you miss a line, both ships will uh, will kind of compensate just a little bit for you. So it gives you a bit of a larger margin of error. I'm going to turn this off so I don't waste RCS. Precise mode. And let's fly in there. Turn RCS off. Target. And I'm gonna rotate this. Let's get this aligned. It looks pretty straight. And maybe rotate a little more. There we go. I got my uh, avionics lights. This makes it a lot easier if you're uh, at night, like right now. <laughs> so these lights you can get on Kerbal Spaceport. All right, yeah, that's pretty straight too. So now I'm gonna move this solar array. And I'm going to move and attach this big end right here. So let's get to it. Let me uh, stop my rotation. Undock. I have to do a little bit of manual flying right here. That's no problem. Couple. from here. Let's go to chase view. Make sure uh, we have orientation proper. Set properly. Target. Now I gotta get over there. So RCS. RCS. Let's get on our way.
So this little trick is very good for, uh, especially if, you're, if your ship is unbalanced, like I had. Uh, this, this thing had the Kerbal Attachment System module on there, which makes it really unbalanced if you're trying to translate side to side. So this, it just keeps it, using this trick, keeps everything in a straight line. That way you don't have the trouble of trying to translate to the side and then it's unbalanced so it actually started adding rotation and then you waste a lot of RCS and time trying to get it straight. And we'll slow down here. Go into the side. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do turn RCS off, parallel. Make sure I'm still controlling from here. Okay. Off. RCS. Let's try to squeeze in there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Didn't expect it to uh, magnetize that quickly. All right, so now I'm moving this to right here. So we don't have to cancel any relative velocity. We're not moving at all. If you did, I would, you would just do relative positive or negative and then just zero it out going in a straight line. You don't have to do side to side. And then just retarget and target positive. I think we're close enough, or far enough away, I can go ahead and positive. And that's spinning. Control from here. Set target, target positive. As they both move in slow motion, hopefully I don't whack any solar panels, that is a little close. Oh, that's a little too close. The rotation. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> They're magnetizing already. Okay. Alright, I think it's far enough away now. Go back here, I think it's still, yep, it's still going. Yep. Look at that. Like I said, a little bit more, a little larger margin of error. <laughs> Just make sure if you have RCS on your station that the RCS is not using, the station is not using RCS, otherwise uh, might make it a little bit wobbly. But as you can see, just using the Smart ASS target positive, it's, it's you know, I don't have wobbles going through the whole station. The great thing about having the, uh, the 2.5 meter parts as well. So, let's see. Looks like they're both not moving too much. I fly in. And keep target positive. Perfect. Uh-oh. Yeah, there we go. It. All right. So now I can set up the next parts of my station, but that might be for a later video. In case any of you are wondering, it's my uh, the Kerbex Dragon Nine capsule and the uh, Carmody Mark II nodes. And this awesome thing is a hub that I found in the uh, development add-on section on Kerbal Space Program forums. I don't remember the name of the author that, that made it, but it's awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's the trick I want to show you guys. Hopefully you find it very useful. Um, and I'll see you later.